Well, you would think that a law to cap costs on a life-saving drug would, would cap costs on a life-saving drug. Yet Coloradans trying to buy epinephrine injectors, EpiPens, say that getting the price advertised by a new state law has been next to impossible. Here's consumer guy Steve Steger. Maybe if my son ingested peanuts, he would go into anaphylaxis and possibly die. And two dads she had an attack in two different parts of Colorado have been trying to use a new state law to stock up on epinephrine injectors known best by the brand name EpiPen. Timothy Johnson filled out the application to pay 60 bucks for a two pack in Denver. And the best they could do is the manufacturer was going to offer us a $10 discount uh, which brought the price from around 280 to 270. Kent Holtkamp tried a few pharmacies near his home in the San Luis Valley. Valley. And every one of them said no. The January 1st law is supposed to cap the out-of-pocket costs for EpiPens for patients at 60 bucks but red tape appears to be tangling it all up. There wasn't a lot of infrastructure built around it. Pharmacists argue they're feeling the brunt of the cost, only collecting 60 bucks for something they paid hundreds to have in stock. Emily Zedvorny leads the state's association of pharmacists. So a lot of times they're saying, I can't do that. I can't lose, you know, hundreds of dollars to get you this prescription for $60. So there have been situations where they've said, I just can't help you. And they've turned that patient away. The way this bill is designed is the manufacturers are supposed to reimburse um, the pharmacies um, either for the extra cost or straight up by giving them extra um, EpiPens. Democratic State Representative Javier Mabry sponsored the original bill, and now he says he's working on a legislative fix to make sure the drug manufacturers pay. We just haven't seen universal um, compliance with this law. Zedvorny says the state needs to create a better process to ensure pharmacists don't take on the financial burden. By putting these limits on the costs, we need to have the infrastructure support where the manufacturers are set up and ready to do it, the pharmacies are all educated, trained, and ready to do it, and that simply just did not happen with this process, with this bill. So Teva, the drug company that manufactures the brand name EpiPen, sued the state last year to try to stop this law, but a judge denied an injunction that would have stopped the law. I asked the company for a comment on this story, never heard back today. There are penalties of up to $10,000 if a manufacturer refuses to reimburse a pharmacy. But again, Kyle, it seems like there isn't a good process for pharmacies to go to the manufacturers and request that reimbursement, which leaves the patients trying to get those reduced costs stuck. Well, and, it, and it's not in the manufacturer's interest for people to know how to do it, right? I mean, sometimes yeah. you'll see that written into laws that they the onus is on them to let folks know how that works. Yeah, ab here. absolutely. And, you know, it seems like there ha there wasn't a whole ton of education on the pharmacist side in this today. I have an EpiPen. I called my King Supers Pharmacy this afternoon just to ask, can I apply for this $60 copay for this? There was a lot of confusion. What do you mean? Oh, there's a state law. I didn't realize that just trying to work different things out. It's, it may take a little while. The hope is that they can get this back online and get people the price that they're supposed to pay. Steve, thank you very much. Yep.